Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at the latest release from Radio Master. This is the wireless trainer module. It uh, runs on SBUS, so any radio or receiver that can output SBUS can be used to drive this wireless trainer module. It comes in micro or nano sized. I've got the micro sized here and uh, just four screws here to open it up. If you have a look inside you can see there's a couple of sockets here and you plug your receiver, your SBUS receiver, into either one of those sockets. It is the SBUS B for the box radio or the SBUS A for the TX16S. In the nano size there's only one socket and uh, that suits all the radios that take the nano sized module. This receiver is the XR2, so that's an Express LRS receiver, but I've set it to output SBUS, and uh, that is bound to the Radio Master Zorro Express LRS, uh, and this is my student radio. Uh, I'll leave the back off just so we can see what we're doing. And my instructor radio is the Radio Master uh, Multi Module. I'll pop this in the back here. So that's inserted, turn them both on, so the student radio has now connected, bound with the Express LRS SBUS output receiver and and the instructor radio binds to the receiver in the model and that uh, at the moment I've got an XR6 that is bound to this model. Let's power that up. Low. So we've got the XR6 bound to the multi-protocol boxer and the trainer mod and the wireless trainer module bound to the student radio. So we can see we have servo action there and I've set up my trainer switch as this SD switch here so that is no longer working but now the student radio is operating the servo sending the trainer signal to the SBUS output receiver in the back of the radio there and um, operating the model depending on where your trainer switch is so that is very simple easy to set up the student radio there's nothing to do other than uh, bind bind to the receiver you're going to use in the wireless module and on the instructor radio move that out of the way and on the instructor radio we turn the trainer mode on to master and s bus and in the setup we just make sure that the controls are mapping to the correct channel so that they match in both radios you may have to do a bit of reversing or something like that in the setups to make sure that they both go the same way and the uh, rates are the same in both radios so you don't get surprises when you switch from one to the other but uh, that's basically all there is to it so having a quick look over on the radio master website at the moment 9.99 us for the moment you can buy it direct from radio master for 9.99 and having a look at some of the information the the module is compatible with any receiver that supports a 5 volt s bus serial output so uh, you could use a straight s bus receiver you could use fly sky if you set it to put out s bus instead of ibus or free sky if it uh, has an s bus out or as i've got the uh, express lrs making sure to change the output from crsf to s bus they're recommending for a student radio with express lrs you use the rp2 i'm using the xr2 i think it is xr2 there we go yep yeah. And for radios with a 4-in-1 multi-protocol or CC2500, the R81V2 uh, SBUS receiver is the ideal choice. It's on pre-order at the moment, available in the middle of May. And the micro module is compatible with the TX16S or the Boxer like I'm showing. And the Nano, uh, the GX12, the Zorro Pocket and the MT12. Not the MT12 Mark II, it says down here. And specs, working voltage 5 to 8.4, but it outputs 5 volts for the receiver. And in the packet it comes with this uh, GH 1.25mm 3-pin cable. That's what I've soldered onto the little XR2 receiver. So there you go, that eliminates the need to connect the radios via cable. And uh, it's a very quick and easy and uh, convenient way to set up a trainer and uh, instructor radio. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.